All right, hi everybody. Let's take a look at this book right here, Greatest Dinosaur Collection of All Time. So if you got a dinosaur enthusiast, needs a gift, this is a great little educational book for them right here. So there's the inside cover right there. Just a little other information. And this shows you what all you'll find inside the books. I'll get this laid out neat where you can see it just fine here. <clears throat> so first you're going to find a picture of each one of the dinosaurs. And there's actually several pictures of each one. So of course everybody wants to know what it looked like. You'll see that here as we flip the pages. Second, along with the pictures, you'll see how to pronounce the name, right? That's always something that's usually a bit iffy, so there's a little pronunciation guide. Third, you'll see what time period they lived in. Everybody's heard of Jurassic and things such as that, so it'll be a little bit on it and tell you how long ago they lived. Fourth, you'll see how big the dinosaur was. So you'll see it's like height and weight, and then compared to something like a school bus, an elephant, or a person, you know, depends on how big it was. Fifth, you'll see the key characteristics of that dinosaur. So you'll see just what made that dinosaur look unusual. Sixth, we'll see a skeleton, right? I always like to see the bones and remains and such. We'll look at footprints. Uh, everybody knows there's fossilized footprints of a lot of dinosaurs left over, so we've got some of those. We'll see a lot of interesting facts, a couple pages on each dinosaur for that, so we'll take a look at that. Then after that, there's lots of activities. There's a picture of the dinosaur that can be colored. It'll connect the dots, uh, navigate through a little maze. We'll see what those look like, and then find pictures which are the same. So before we get into each little dinosaur's little introduction, tells you what is a dinosaur, what do all dinosaurs have in common? Good information right there. What are the time periods in which they lived? And then where did they go? Everybody likes to know, well, what happened to them? Aren't they still around? So there's a few pages on that. How did they become fossils? So there's just a little information on how these fossils came to be. List of dinosaurs in the page you'll see them. And see, so you start off with the Allosaurus. Nice little picture right here. There's a little pronunciation guide, and it tells you from the Greek words that Allosaurus actually means different lizard and tells you why just underneath it. Another picture, the time period, the height, the length, the weight, the key characteristics. Over here is a skeleton you can see in a museum <clears throat> and little things right under it that you'll notice on that skeleton. There's a skull and what they think it really looked like. Here's the footprints right here, a little bit of information under it. And then here's the interesting facts about the Allosaurus, like the teeth were large, three to four inches, and serrated, saw-like, and so on. Picture the color, a little maze to navigate through right there, and then there's the Ankylosaurus. So you see you've got the same information on all the dinosaurs right there, right? So it's more than just a couple of pages on each. Lots of little activities. There's a little Archaeopteryx. You may have seen that little flying reptile before right there as you can see all the information on it there's the brachiosaurus and of course in here you've got the velociraptor the t-rex the triceratops you name it they're all in here so good little dinosaur book it's 200 pages long so as you can see lots of pictures activities and information on all those right there so <clears throat> again if you know somebody likes dinosaurs this has got it Here's the Oviraptor, just one of the raptors covered in here. There's the Pachycephalosaurus, one they think rammed its heads together, sort of like ram sheep do. Plesiosaurus, that's what they think the Loch Ness Monster is, one of those things like that. Look at those teeth and that skeleton and so on down the line. So as you can see, lots of activities. There's the, uh, the Pteranodon and other flying reptiles are in here too. Whether they walk, swim, or fly, they're in here. It's the Spinosaurus. That was in one of the movies you may have seen. There's the good old Stegosaurus. Everybody knows that one. Uh, there's Triceratops. After that, there's the good old T-Rex. Everybody knows that one there. And there's the Utah Raptor. One of the, That was actually the big raptor right there. That was sort of like from the first movie you may have seen. And there's the Velociraptor and so on. At the end, there's some fun little pictures. They can hang on their door and so on down the line. So if you know somebody likes dinosaur books, they'll love that one right there. Hope this review helped you out.